Hey there, YouTube. Um, I'm taking a break from what I normally do with the uh, the AMV tutorials because my friend came to me, wanting to me, wanting for me to explain to him how to make the screen shake in Sony Vegas. Um, this process is extremely wrong and it is so annoying that I don't do it in my videos. However, since I'm such a good friend, I'm going to explain how to do it. No, with him and he can do it however he wants now first start up Sony Ve wait a minute oh I already have one um alright cool I'm all set up alright first thing you want to do with Sony Vegas is have your audio and your video lined up to the point where you want it and um the, with the clip that you want to make shake uh right click and press video event pan crop you can't notice right now, but um, uh, let me see if I can do it with another clip. All right, with with clips, with the the first thing you want to do with the clip is if you're it, first you want to make it fit the whole screen. After that, um, after that you want to take the box and shrink it, shrink it. Shrink it a little bit, at, uh, at a little bit because what it does is it blows out the pixels. So depending on how much you shrink it, it makes it a little bit uh, less quality. So you want to shrink it as much as you can, but you want to leave yourself a little bit of room. So um, after you do that, and I'm going to go back to the clip that I already modified. Um, after you do that. Come down to the animate timeline and with this little this this bar right here, shrink it till you get to the millisecond ticks. Like they have ticks for different increments of seconds. When you're at the millisecond ticks, that's when you stop. Okay, now then. As you can see, I already have keyframes. And what you want to do is at each tick at each of these little marks right here click and uh, add a keyframe and you want to drag the, the 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 little F thing a little bit and a little bit so that it's inside the clip but not so far out as the black shows up and you just keep doing that you know just keep dragging it around and around freezing it at different spots and adding keyframes until you're satisfied with the length of it Mind you, every time you want to make a clip shake, you're going to have to go through this process. Which is one of the reasons why I don't do it. Oh, shit, what I do? There's no way I can undo this either. Uh, I'll just fuck myself over it. Alright, so, somewhere along in the video, Anyway, just keep moving it along these ticks, adding keyframes. Every time you go to a new tick, you add a keyframe, and you drag it somewhere else. And then after you drag it, go to another keyframe, add one. Add, go to another tick, add a keyframe, and keep dragging it till you, till you have it where you want to, and, and until you're satisfied with the amount of times you uh, made a transition. Pretty much. I'm just gonna go for a little. you're all done, uh, go past your video to see if you like it. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty much how you make the clip shape. So, I mean, it's a pretty grueling process, but I mean, it's that's how you do it, so. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, BB, if it has helped you, awesome. If it didn't, then I'm sorry, but maybe you uh, 
if you could ask me for a more specific explanation on like exactly what else you want, then maybe I can help you. Um, uh, you know, keep an eye out for more of my tutorials, guys. I'll have more on the way. Catch you guys later. Oh, by the way, Blue Vegas for the win!